Hi everyone, this is Captain Ed Berger from the Tackle Direct Pro Staff. Here at our 25,000 square foot facility in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. It covers a beautiful new showroom, our shipping facility, and also our call center. There are so many new products in our operation and across the marketplace, it's getting more and more difficult to decide just exactly what the right one is to buy. That's why we at Tackle Direct have brought in a series of manufacturers' representatives to explain to you just exactly what the specific benefits of their products are. Today, we have a very special guest from St. Croix Rods. Dave Coley is here. Dave is going to go through the Avid Insure series of St. Croix Rods. Let's go over to the bench and see what Dave has for us. Dave, welcome back to Tackle Direct. Thanks for having me, Ed. You know, before we go into the, uh, the St. Croix Insure series, let's just talk a little bit about St. Croix itself. Sure. Well, St. Croix is uh, the longest running uh, uh, American-made rod manufacturer. Uh, in our Park Falls, Wisconsin facility, we've been manufacturing rods for over 60 years. Oh. Uh, we now have an uh, additional site down in Mexico, uh, in Fresnillo, Mexico, that builds our uh, Triumph series, Mojo Bass series, and some of our Price Point series rods. Uh, but the rod we're going to talk about today, the Avid series inshore, this particular model is made in our Park Falls facility. Gotcha. Uh, and this is uh, an Avid inshore made with SC3 carbon. So the SC3 carbon is a little higher modulus than our traditional carbon, which we use in the, the Tidemaster and the Premiers, which is SC2. So SC3 is higher modulus. Uh, and this particular rod has our integrated polycurve technology in it, IPC tooling. And the IPC tooling smooths out the transition points in the rod. So you, you still have a, a tremendously smooth casting rod with a better uh, or more durable wall thickness. So right. it's more uniform wall thickness throughout the rod. Um, Fuji high quality reel seat. This one happens to be a Fuji on the spin. It's a Fuji DPS. Uh, Alps 316 stainless steel zychromium guides. So that's a zychromium ring. So again, very, very durable for the, uh, uh, and corrosion resistant for the salt water. And in the conventional series, you can see, again, the same 316 stainless steel guide, Fuji EPS reel seat, and on the heavier ones, it goes to a Fuji TCS. So you can see again what you're getting is an extremely durable inshore series of rods. Uh, it ranges from a six and a half foot in the spin all the way up to an eight foot heavy and in the conventionals you have a seven foot medium heavy to an eight foot heavy. So they're uh, set up for any situation that you can think of with your inshore angling needs. So based upon what your own individual needs are depending on the species that you're chasing you would then try and make a determination of what